What's going on money lovers? Welcome back. Today we're looking at the ETF FNGU, which is up 36% year to date compared to the S&P 500 or SPY here, which is up 20% year to date, and whether this ETF is a good buy. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop me a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. So first, let's take a look at what this micro sectors is all about. So these are all offered through the Bank of Montreal, and they have a bunch of different ETFs. So today, we're just gonna look at the FANG Plus exchange traded note. So the FANG Plus lineup provides three times leverage exposure, includes 10 highly liquid stocks that represent the industry leaders across today's tech and internet media companies it's equally weighted across all the different stocks so it owns these 10 stocks here tesla netflix alibaba twitter baidu alphabet nvidia apple amazon and facebook so a real premier lineup of companies the best of the best out there if you compare the fang plus index performance to the nasdaq and the s p 500 it has far outperformed over the past five years but it is a lot more volatile and so here's a list of some of the other options if you're interested in the fang plus family of exchange traded notes there's also fngo which is only two times leveraged or FNGS, which is not leveraged at all. And then there are a few that are negatively leveraged. Other important information on FNGU and across all the different funds they offer here, they take 0.95% uh, expense ratio, which is a little bit on the higher end, um, obviously a lot higher than, you know, if you're just buying an index fund, as you can see here, the historical performance for FNGU since its inception has been 564%. And that is since it was launched in 2018. So 564% return for FNGU since 2018 compared to SPY's roughly 60% return over the same time span. So this is definitely a more speculative stock and it's going to be wildly volatile. And as you can see here, it is trading more toward the high i think that this would be a great buy if we got a correction or if there was a market crash i would love to buy it back down here you know in the mid 20s or maybe even around the 30 dollars range but i won't be buying it here because i think it's overvalued and there's a lot more downside here than upside all it takes is a little bit of bad news and all of a sudden some of these fantastic companies go down 3%, well, you're gonna be down three times that, so you'd be down 10%. So I definitely wouldn't buy it here. So it's very similar to something like TQQQ, which does the same thing three times leveraged, except it's for the top 100 companies of the NASDAQ. So it gives you more diversity. You have to decide, do you want the diversity or do you want to be concentrated in those 10, arguably, of the best of the best companies? But I would apply similar logic to TQQQ. You know, it's good to buy in a dip. So this is one I'll just keep on my watch list for when there is a big dip. If you enjoyed the video today, Please don't forget to like, subscribe, drop me a comment below if you have any questions. This is Vinny from The Investment Club and I'll see you next time.